single one and start presenting the other projects that are here and starting from um, Apsis Photo, Manuel. Apsis for All is, uh, is an European project. That is coming to an end, which means that uh, it's going to, to be finished uh, in April uh, 2014. And the main goal of this project is, is uh, to have two pilots in Europe uh, showing the uh, why um, having preferences in public digital terminals could be important for users. Uh, let's say that this is a sort of the cloud for all, but uh, in a previous stage. Okay, so uh, the way it works is uh, a user is able to identify their, uh, their preferences uh, for a ticket vending machine or for an ATM, and then they have them stored in, in stored in FC cards. Okay, uh, in the case of uh, one of the pilots, this is in Spain, there is a Spanish bank called La Caixa, and these uh, preferences are stored in, in your, your bank card. Okay? So you get to, to an ATM and uh, you tap the, the ATM and the ATM uh, receives an auto configuration. Okay? So it's, uh, it's, it's able to read your settings and adapt the interface according to your preferences. Okay? So the other uh, the other uh, pilot is in Germany, and it's the same case, but with ticket vending machines in train stations. Okay? Uh, there is another approach here, which is by means of uh, mobile, device, mobile devices. The, uh, the German pilot has created an application where you can uh, define the ticket you want to buy, then you receive a QR code, and then you show this QR code at the ticket vending machine, and then you have Ticket printing. Uh, that way, because uh, we cannot ensure that ticket vending machine can be fully connected, they are not, they don't have internet connection all the time. So you need to go physically to the uh, to the place where the ticket vending machine is located. And uh, to be able to have these machines uh, personalized according to your preferences, you need uh, beforehand define uh, what the preferences are. So we are using uh, uh, this application we have created. So there, uh, the main goal of this application is uh, to help you in defining your settings. So to speed up the process as, uh, as much as possible. You, uh, you are asked for a very limited number of questions. We try to, to make it a very reduced number and then get get all your preferences inferred for uh, one device, the ATM or the TDM, okay? And then finally, you should be able to look up a review of this device. Okay, so uh, take into account that the, in general, these devices don't have, uh, they are not very powerful in terms of personalization. You can only set uh, two or three, uh, four settings. I mean, it's screen reader or color, font size, so, so it's uh, this is a, a Spanish version of the of the application. Okay. Uh, we did a translation for for this demo. You log in, and then you uh, should be able to, to complete the questionnaire. So somehow this is profile based, even if you don't store uh, the information about the kind of disability. You only use this information to set the, the a set of preferences that you store uh, in the device that the user is carrying. So there. Imagine you find that uh, uh, you are blind. Well, of course, this, this application is completely accessible. 
So imagine you say that you don't want the information uh, to be displayed on the screen. Privacy reasons you want uh, the screen reader talking at normal rate. Okay, and finally, we have the this is how the, the ATM will look like. Well, this is just one screen. Um, so, this is the, the case of the, of the Spanish ATM. Okay? So there is nothing to be shown in the screen because I mean, you, are, you are blind, you don't want anything to be shown there, and you don't need it. You receive all the information via uh, sound. And you only plug your headset there, and you, have the, you can uh, work this way. So basically, uh, the project is, uh, is a pilot. Uh, we have done many. Uh, trials both in Spain and Germany. Uh, we are looking for uh, other companies like the two ones that have their own implementation to adapt these systems or to be able to read the, the, the settings uh, that we have in, in the cloud by uh, having some uh, of this work. Uh, thank you. What kind of preferences are you using in this project? Uh, these are based on a standard, uh, the 1332. Uh, these yes, are SSN, is that right? Yes. Sorry? For the SEN. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was supported by uh, the British. Uh, yeah. That was supported by the Royal National Society for the Climate. Yeah, that's it. Um, basically, the, the set. There, you don't define a specific settings, but preferences. For um, you, don't imagine you, uh, you don't have the number of pixels you want for your device, but you, you say that you want big, uh, big font size. Or something like this. So there is some relationship, or we can figure out the way to translate the one preference into a cloud for our system or the standard or the common terms. That, that is something that could be used because, as far as I know, this standard is really describing preferences, not capabilities. And so, um, yeah. the flight yeah. screen, read on, off, and, and yeah. uh, font size, and, and these things. Mm -hmm. um, so, you have extensive user data on that? We have to, I mean, we have the data, but um, right now, these data are um, operational data. So, this is There are some legal issues to, to cope with, <laughs> to transmit this. Uh, well, then I'll give up immediately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think we can. Uh, because banks and legal issues are um, not uh, up to that. No. <laughs> <laughs> but we, uh, we, we were very careful about that. So these data are not. Uh, the owner is not the bank, it's uh, Technosite. Mm -hmm. okay. Uh, because this uh, portal is uh, sort of like side, so we wanted to ensure that there is no uh, unforeseen uh, treatment of this data. So the Spanish law is uh, quite restrictive uh, with, this, with this kind of data. Right. And you uh, probably you have constant forms that say it's yeah. only to be used in the access project. Yeah. Okay. And you don't have the names of the people anymore because they're anonymous. Anonymous. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> We have no, to do it again. <laughs> no, well, well, uh, well I, I think there are two ways of collaboration. One could be with this data completely anonymized, uh, without any kind of link with the user identity, only for statistical purposes. Um, I think there is a, a very good match between the 
reference set define equals for all and this kind of dependencies yeah. that we are um, in machines uh, a call for all implementation should be uh, very easy to, to, to implement because basically these are machines that have the capability to adapt according to a set of preferences if you just change the format to find a way to to communicate this new format or preferences or the value of these preferences it's wrong so um, well in, in fact uh, the German pilot is optimized by Hoffman Bessel these are one of the partners of the consortium and they should be working right now with Frank Hofer to, to solve 